Hey, I'm Brandon with RevZilla, and today on Ride Tested, we are checking out the Bell Moto 10 Spherical Mips Helmet. Now, I've been using these other two lids, the Alpine Stars SM10, as well as the Fly Racing Dirt Formula Helmet. I've been using those two for quite a long time at this point. It's been really nice to compare and contrast all three of these lids. So without further ado, let's load up the 250, hit the trails, and I'll share some of my thoughts. So here we are, out in the trails right now, like this corner, woo -hoo! woo -hoo! Oh yeah. So the Moto 10, I have raced in this helmet, I have been using it quite a bit alongside the Fly Racing Formula Dirt helmet, then there's the Alpine Stars, the SM10, I have the carbon version, so it's been really fun going back to back to back and testing these helmets against each other because they are three very top tier helmets within the dirt world, right? And so that's what I wanted to kind of compare this to. I'm sure we can all get the nitty gritty details on the PDP or the product page for this particular helmet. So I kind of want to talk to you about what I've experienced and what I'm actually feeling while I'm riding in the helmet, obviously. So let's start with the weight. That was gonna be my biggest gripe with this particular helmet, right? Is the overall weight. The Belmoto 10, three pounds, eight ounces in a size medium. That's a little bit on the porkier side, or the heavy side, I should say, a little porky. <laughs> um, and then the Fly Racing Helmet, the Dirt Formula, that one is gonna be right at two pounds, 13 ounces. And then we've got the SM10, which is slightly heavier than the Fly Racing, but not by much, especially in that carbon version. I think it, that one's two pounds, Oh yeah, this is a good trail. Uh, two pounds, 14 or 15 ounces in the size medium. So, when it comes to weight, the Moto 10 is getting beat by those other two helmets. No doubt about it. That was my big complaint. I was like, oh man, it's heavier. You know, is it gonna feel that much heavier? And so I was concerned about that. And I know we say it all the time, but this helmet does wear its weight very well. I don't think the difference in weight is gonna be very much notice between riders and what they're doing. Like I never feel like I have premature neck fatigue wearing this helmet versus wearing my fly racing lid. But at 850 bucks, you know, I was expecting it to be a little bit lighter. So that's gonna be my one qualm with this helmet. Let's talk about the airflow between all of them. The Moto 10 definitely takes a cake, holy cow. The airflow on this helmet is incredible. So I will certainly give that to the Moto 10, no doubt about it. It's got that big air intake. It's like one big piece on the top and that just channels air and gets that air moving through the helmet really, really well. Woo, there you go. So if airflow is the number one concern, yeah, the Moto 10 is gonna be a great option for you. I think between the Fly Racing and the SM10, the difference between the two is not negligible, but it doesn't shine like the Moto 10 does, that's for sure. I'm just gonna spin it back because I don't really know where I am or where I'm riding. So. And that was a fun little trail. So protection though, the Moto 10 definitely has the latest and greatest when it comes to the overall protection because of that spherical MIPS technology. It's taking it you know, a bit further than just your standard MIPS, right? Because it's got some additional movement with the helmet on the inside, which allows your head to rotate and move more freely on the inside of the helmet if it takes a huge impact. And that should help prevent, you know, uh, neck injuries and things of that nature. So it's a hard concept to really fully grasp, but when you get the helmet in your hands, you can actually feel that line or that slip on the inside of the helmet. So much so that I had concerns that it was gonna be a little too much. Like I thought the helmet was just gonna be wiggling all around when I'm riding out here on the trails, um, but it's not. It's very, very stable. I've had no issues whatsoever with that. And speaking of, uh, you know, kind of slipping around and moving around too easy, I love 
how easy <laughs> the interior liner is to remove. It's the Magnafusion uh, interior liner with the magnets, obviously, that hold it in place. They're so easy to take out, but they're never a problem when you're riding around either. So I really like that a lot because if you're riding the dirt, I'm sure you know that you build a lot of body heat, so you gotta wash those interior liners a bit more than you probably would with your standard street helmet, right? So it's nice being able to take the liner out very easily. So to summarize, if you want the lightest helmet between those top three, Fly Racing Dirt Formula helmet is definitely gonna take the cake. But where the Moto 10 shines, is the you know top tier level of protection that it provides with that you know MIPS slip liner. It definitely makes a big difference. I mean just take a look at that crash that McAdoo had where he got ragdolled on his bike. I mean that should be proof enough right there for you. And airflow. Moto 10 easily gonna take the cake when it comes to the airflow. So yeah it's got two wins. I'm gonna knock it for the weight there but even still, as I said, I've never felt premature wear in my neck or it's never hurt me more than any other days if I go fly racing or the, the SM10 from Alpine Star. So that's how I feel about it. They're all excellent lids. I don't think anyone's gonna be disappointed with any option they get. But man, I have really been enjoying uh, the Moto 10. It's definitely what I'm gonna be taking out to to get on Adventure Fest, riding around out there with everybody and. Yeah, I'm excited to do the entire ECEA race series, a bunch of hair scrambles in this lid as well. So, yeah. Thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit, guys and gals. I'm gonna get back to ripping around, paying attention. And uh, if you have any questions, obviously you can always reach out to me and I'll do my best to, uh, to answer those for you. Just wanted to share some thoughts about this lid, how much I've enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, if anyone's deciding between those helmets, hopefully this will help you out with your decision process. I'm gonna get back to it. I think it might be time to go get a milkshake and a burger. As always, guys, keep it thin. Woo! Here we go. Woo! Oh yeah! <laughs> Woo!